Welcome. My name is Rick, and this is SmileyOil.com. SmileyOil.com is an educational site for teenagers and up, and we'll attempt them, we'll attempt to teach them about mechanical engineering and oil. Now, in the world, in the news, you will see three topic areas. The first one is global warming. Global warming is championed by Al Gore in his movie An Inconvenient Truth. The next area of discussion is oil depletion. These videos or these commentaries are not that common yet. Um, this is what I'll be talking about at smileyoil.com. And then the final area the final area of commentary is resource wars. This is where uh, we run out of oil and competition between humans and countries uh, in my opinion breaks down society. Now by staying here I can actually give a level of optimism to future generations. While I agree with what's going to happen here, uh, my intent is to try to find a solution, uh, a, a localized solution for people so that we can get through these resource wars uh, better. Now, I call this the whistle. This the train. And this the wreck. People have figured out that burning oil and other hydrocarbons like coal and natural gas are releasing CO2 into the atmosphere which is creating like a blanket effect, a greenhouse effect, effectively a blanket around the earth and it's warming the planet and thousands of scientists are on this issue and basically what they're trying to do is impose a carbon tax and so they're meeting in Kyoto, Japan and through taxation they're hoping they can reduce oil consumption. Um, now I, I believe that that's futile but I, I kinda hope for them to in, implement their tax so that we can move the discussion further to simply oil depletion. Now the question is why does Rick Miley feel that he can comment on oil and it and add any benefit to the to society? Well, the answer is I am a mechanical engineer. And so is my father. And when I was 13 years old, during the Arab oil embargo, my dad, a mechanical engineer, sat me down and said, uh, "Let me. do you want to learn about cars? And I said, sure, I want a car. I'll learn about them. And a one-on-one -on -one with my dad from 13 years and up, he taught me the physics of, what a, of a car, how a car worked. Well, in, uh, since it was the Arab oil embargo, we could see the real-time crisis that was hitting the U.S. because of the uh, cancellation of shipments from the Middle East and we were getting long gas lines and a, pipe, a, spike in, uh, a spike in gasoline prices. So when I was taught mechanical engineering I learned that mechanical engineering equals oil. It turns out that the definition of mechanical engineering is mechanical engineers burn things to get things to move. These two words are unique to mechanical engineering. No one else moves anything. Aeronautical engineers do fly something, so this is not 100% true, but none of the other uh, specialties of engineering moves anything. And to move those things, 
mechanical engineers burn things, and the things they burn are hydrocarbons in the form of gasoline or oil, natural gas, and coal. And so the very thing that Al Gore and the global warming people are worried about are, are the very thing that mechanical engineers do. And all of us ride around in our cars and our planes and our trains and our, but we don't ride in the trains, or um, trucks and ships. But we all live in a society where we are burning things to get things to move. Now, to give you an idea of how pervasive mechanical engineering is with hydrocarbons, As I said, in the area of transportation, 95% of transportation is mechanical engineering, except for aeronautical. Everything else having to do with movement runs through mechanical engineering. And the thing that you don't know, or most people don't know, is that 95% of electricity goes through mechanical engineering. We burn hydrocarbons, turn steam turbines, turn generators and generate electricity. So except for nuclear and photovoltaic solar, 95% of electricity generated goes through mechanical engineering. So when I say I know a little bit about oil, I was, have been trained in the business of oil. Now, when I, when I talk to people, my friends, who are not mechanical engineers, the problem doesn't really sink in. But when I talk to my ME friends, now I'm going to use this technical term, the MEs are freaking out. They can see the collapse of society with the depletion of oil, in particular oil, oil, carbon or natural gas and coal are issues. But without oil, nothing runs. Everything stops. So this group of people are on a wavelength talking to each other, worrying about the future and really seeing that there's no solution. Now, instead of coming up here and saying, you know, panicking and saying there is no solution, I have come up with an idea in which we create energy consultants. So if, if we, teenagers and up, learn more than anyone else with a basis in mechanical engineering, more than anyone else about energy, when things get dicey for the Fortune 500 companies, we can step in and say, we know how to navigate you through this, this turbulent waters. Now the reality is there's really going to be no good solutions. We're going to have to be advising people of the least bad solution, but this group of people with their unique knowledge can thrive in a world in which the Fortune 500 are dropping in value and energy consultants are going up in value. So I spent half my life in energy and the only thing I can come up with for my kids is this, is this training in energy to be energy consultants. So I can do this alone with my kids on the weekend or I can do it on my frequency on YouTube and there's no, it doesn't it isn't a, a type of thing that has to be communicated alone to my kids. Millions of people can be energy consultants because there's six billion people out there. And as long as we're in the minority, we have a survivable and usable, um, safe future. So that's kind of the general proposition of Smiley Oil. And now I'll go on and on into many discussions.